Need LASIK? Trust the experience team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. The only people that I've ever met on Xbox Live are 13-year-olds who talk <laughs> to me after they <laughs> completely own me at whatever game I'm playing. And get off Xbox, old man. Yeah, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't even talk about it. It hurts a little anymore. bit, doesn't it? The guy on the phone today for a second date update, his name is Oscar. He actually met the girl that he wants to call playing Xbox Live. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, what's up, Oscar? How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. So how do you meet somebody on Xbox Live that's not like just like a little punk who <laughs> tells you you suck at playing Call of Duty? <laughs> I, I was impressed. It was uh, I was actually playing Medal of Honor, okay, uh, nice. which is kind of close to Call of Duty, and you don't get a lot of ladies on there. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't even know really what you guys are talking about right now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's you know, you get to play pretty much uh, in tandem. You know, you get to play with other people online. Okay, and uh, but you you don't really get to see them much aside from uh, you know the profile they create. How did you know it was a female? Like, was it just the username popped up? You're like, ooh, that's a cute username. <laughs> I heard her voice in my headset, and she sounded really cute and. I don't know, Maya sounds like a, a cute girl's name. Nice. Oh, so you, so you can actually talk to people. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm kind of an idiot with this stuff. I'm not no, even kidding. Yeah. Everyone has on headsets, you, you can talk to the team. It's not just like instant messaging. No, no you can actually okay. talk. No, yeah. no, 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 no. And you know, I, I refer to myself as a geek, not a nerd. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. There's a big difference, apparently. <laughs> yeah, geeks can talk to girls. We just like geeky things. Okay. okay. So okay. what kind of geeky things are you into? Oh, I'm into all sorts of geeky. I like, uh, well, obviously video games. Yeah. You know, I like that. And also, I like role-playing games, all sorts of stuff. Okay, hey, before uh, we get any further, please tell me you guys actually went on a date and you just talking online on Xbox wasn't what you considered a date. <laughs> oh, like like I said, I got some skills. I can talk to girls. Nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, we totally uh, went on a date. Where'd you guys go when you went out? <laughs> we went out to dinner. You know, uh, not too fancy, but nice enough. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't want to... Well, didn't want to be intimidating and break up, you know, the giant steakhouse or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't know if she was vegetarian. So. <laughs> what was that like, meeting her in person for the first time? It was great. I mean, she was super cute. Had kind of like a pixie-ish haircut, which I liked. Also, kind of like short hair. Okay. Were you really nervous? Not really nervous. I mean, I've been on dates before. But, you know, she was she was pretty cute. So I, wasn't, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but I was... Uh, pretty stoked and also a little uh, I didn't want to mess it up. How did the date go then? Did you guys have a good time? And yeah, it went great. Like the the chemistry was there. She mentioned she plays D and D, which was an instant turn on. <laughs> Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons, Dragons yeah. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. All right. Yeah. So she's into all the same stuff you are then. Yeah, I mean she mentioned that she's a twelfth level elf. What? <laughs> no way. Oh man. Marry that girl, put a ring on it. I don't know if you guys play or not, but to get to the 12th level, you need to be invested in the game. You're not just a casual user, you know, okay. of, yeah. of the game. But. I feel like you do, man. Every time I meet, like, a second level, I'm like, get out of here, chump. <laughs> I waste my time with you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I freaked out. When she mentioned that she was, like, a 12th level elf, That that's, like, well, in, in the industry of, of gaming, like, that's known as a unicorn, like a girl that plays. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I got a unicorn here. Like, I was very impressed because I play. So if she's a 12th level elf, what are you? I'm a 15th level necromancer. Well, oh, is that, well. does that mean that you hook up with dead people? That's no. what it sounded like to me, too. I'm a necro, you <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, kind of, yeah, it's kind of like a dark wizard. You oh, know, like a... who sleeps with dead people. <laughs> I gotta get into this game. I haven't played it ever, <laughs> you like but it, it sounds really interesting to me now. I think you'd like it. It's really it's fun. Did you impress her by telling about your necrophilia? No, <laughs> no there's no sleeping with zombies or anything oh, like that. It's, okay, uh, but she, yeah, she, I think she was impressed that I played. And, and again, you know, the, the higher level, the more years you've got invested. So right. I think, yeah, I, think yeah. I pressed her a little bit. You guys oh. sound like a geeky match made in heaven sounds to cute, me. Yeah. You know, it was really good. The conversation flowed pretty well, and, you know, we didn't just talk about gaming the whole time. Uh, you know, we talked about other stuff, but, yeah, I was very comfortable. I Actually, the part where she said that she's a high-level elf is the part where I felt like I almost blew it because I did freak out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the date end? Well, she said she had gotten dropped off by a friend but needed a ride home, which I thought was... Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, and so, uh, of course, I said yes. Nice. And, you know, we got to her house and kind of sat in the parking lot for a while, talking for another 8, 10, 15 minutes, mm-hmm. and then uh, walked her to the door, and I, I kind of got the, the quick hug, mm. which was Ooh. a little disappointing, a little, mm. uh, I don't know, I, I'm not 
didn't want to be presumptuous, but I, I don't know. I was hoping for a little bit more than a hug. Yeah, yeah I thought she set you up for a kiss just because of the ride home and the sure. talk in the car, you know. Yeah, I thought if, if she wasn't interested, it would have been a quick, okay, this is my stop, out you go. But, you know, we, we talked there for a while, and I don't know. It just since then, I kind of feel like I got the brush off a little bit. Like, she's not online as much. I mean, she didn't straight disappear. Right. <laughs> Do you guys talk at all then? Do you, have you texted with her, phone calls, anything? I've texted with her, but I also don't want to feel like a psycho stalker guy. But she she's texted me back, but it's been a little cool. You know, like, yeah. I don't know. Do you think she's dating a lot? I mean, a 12th level cute elf, uh, <laughs> I would assume, would have a lot of options out there. It's possible, but I don't know. I feel like I, I went from having this, like, you know, charm spell on her to suddenly I've got this ring of invisibility. It's just not. Oh, uh, man, now you're talking my language. Have you, straight totally up, hear you. have you straight up asked her out again, or you just think she's being kind of cold and distant? Yeah, I mean, I've asked her out again, but she always seems to be busy with something. Okay. You know? And I don't know. Maybe she is. You know, she did mention that she's fairly busy. I, mm. I, I, it just feels like a brush off. I don't know. All right, cool. Well, we'll play a song, come back, call her, and get your second date update, okay? Awesome. I appreciate it. All right, man. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. Alas, welcome back <laughs> to today's second date update. <laughs> Where we're attempting to vanquish the troll of loneliness who has reared his head yet again. <laughs> On the line, we have Oscar, who is a 15th level necromancer, which I think means he's on an FBI watch list somewhere. <laughs> And he's going to attempt to contact a fair maiden named Maya, who's a 12th level elf. They met while playing Xbox Live and shared their love of Dungeons and Dragons on their first date, but now she's giving him ye old brush off. And we need to call her and find out why she's not calling him back. You about ready to go, Oscar? Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. I never asked you in the first part of the second date update, why do you think she's not calling you back? You think it's because you got too excited that she plays Dungeons and Dragons like you? I mean, maybe, yeah, I could have just come on maybe a little too strong, but uh, again, I don't know, I felt like the chemistry was there, so yeah, I'm, and I'm kind of scratching my head. Is there something called too strong when you're talking about Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. Oh, there, there is? is. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Oscar, <laughs> it has come time for your reckoning. <laughs> we will get her on the phone and find out if... The fair maiden Maya will be seeing your bow staff once Whoa. and for all, hey. if everything works out right. You know, that's pretty uh, pretty inspiring music. <laughs> I might actually play today, get a game in. <laughs> all right, I'm going to dial her phone number right now and get her on the phone. Here we go. All right. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Maya, please? Is this? Hey, Maya, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a uh, morning radio program. It's a radio show? Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. What's, what, what can I do for you, radio <laughs> show? Well, I'm calling you because like a listener of ours recently emailed us about you, and he wanted us to get a hold of you because he thinks that you're brushing him off after you guys went on a date. Oh, my God. I, I think I know what this is about. Do you? Really? I mean, I hope not, but... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who would that be? What's his name? Oscar. Bingo! Oh. Oscar emailed us about you, and he said that he really enjoyed going on your date, and he's been trying to get you to go out with him ever since, but you're always like, I'm busy, or whatever. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, do you not want to go out with him again? Correct, yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I Honestly, I can't believe he thought it would be wise to contact the radio station about this, but... Um, well, he said that he just likes you a lot. It's a thing we do on our show all the time called Second Date Update. So let me ask you, was it weird actually meeting a guy off of Xbox Live? I hadn't met anybody through Xbox Live before, so yeah. I mean, like, I feel like it's just as weird as anything else, but, you know, it was a public place. I I, you know, that wasn't what, <laughs> that wasn't the problem. <laughs> what, what was, was the problem? So he he's dropping me off at the end of the night. We're, you know, in my parking lot of my building and, like, just chatting. And, like, honestly, like, I'm feeling it. And I'm kind of waiting for him to go in for a kiss. 
Right. Oh, okay. (laughs) Instead of that, he goes, can I show you something right now? That's uh, that's something that could go one of two ways on a first exactly. date, either good or very, very bad. Exactly. What okay. was it? He starts to take off his shirt. What? Uh, Dang, bro. I mean, I mean, I couldn't make it up if I tried. Like, he starts to take off his shirt, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Not that kind of girl. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And he's like, no, I, no, 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 it's cool. Like, just trust, like, I'm not being creepy. Like, just trust me. And shows me on his arm this huge Iron Throne tattoo from Game of Thrones. Wow. Oh, okay. So, okay. like I, that iconic Game of Thrones chair, yeah, chair like thing. The Iron, the Iron Throne. Okay. Okay. Cool. Like, why, why, whatever. Why couldn't he just roll up his sleeve to show you an arm tattoo? Oh, why did he have to get half well, naked? Well, well, just you wait. <laughs> because that was just the tip of the iceberg. And then he shows me on his peck, Gollum from Lord of the Rings face. <laughs> My precious. Okay. Okay. So, so you, you know, turned like off the by ugliest that? ugliest character of yeah. all time. Yeah. Do you not think that's weird? Like a Gollum tattoo on someone's chest? I don't know. For most people, I would think it was weird, but we talked to him, and he's the way he was talking about being into Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, I could see him having a tattoo like that. Have you seen Gollum? Yeah, I have. He's one of the ugliest faces. Okay. You're true. just saying maybe you couldn't want to make you know eye contact with... Think about missionary with yeah, that. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> where I was going. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. And then that's not even it. We're not even done there. Oh, no. Then he goes... Oh, but wait, you haven't even seen the, what did he say? Pièce de Résistance. Oh, Whoa. what is that one? That is his entire back, which is the entire cast of Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> Shut <what>? up. <laughs> Harry Potter back guy? Yes, you may be familiar with the children's novel series, Harry Potter. I'm a little familiar, yeah. I've heard a thing or two about it. Kind of yeah, so. <laughs> All over my dates back. So, yeah, oh. I haven't called him back. Oh. I've been polite to him. I haven't completely blown him off. But, like, I can't see getting frisky with Harry and the crew. <laughs> but you've got to understand. I mean, from his point of view, you're a girl who's, like, a 12th-level elf. Like, he yeah. probably thought that you would be into all of those. I'm also a woman. With <laughs> woman. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you just couldn't get down with all of the tattoos that he had, the Harry Potter tattoo, the Game of Thrones tattoo, and the Lord of the Rings tattoo. And busting them out on the first date. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mean, Maya, thank you for being honest. I appreciate it. Now I feel like I have to be honest with you about something. Okay. <laughs> Oscar is actually on the line listening and wants to talk to you. No! Are you kidding me? Sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. I had no idea that that was going to freak you out. Uh, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, in hindsight, I could see how taking my shirt off in the car could have been weird. In hindsight. Yeah. Well, and it's not only that. I mean, it's like all the tattoos, like Gollum on your peck. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot. Well, well I mean, they're not all. first date. I do have a lot of tattoos that I felt like, I don't know, we were having such a good rapport, I thought the Game of Thrones thing might impress you a little bit. I don't know. But I don't have just nerdy ones. I've got like a sore tattoo, too. That's pretty badass. <laughs> I like how that's a badass one. It is. <laughs> are, you, are, are you feeling insulted, Oscar? I know, like, it seemed like you were no, really... No, I don't know. The, the implication that the Harry Potter thing was creepy is a little weird to me because we discussed the books. So I thought you'd be uh, a little more. That, that I mean, a lot of time. like reading the books and enjoying the books is different than like permanently putting the characters of the books on yeah. your body. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought you'd think that my dedication to all the stuff that we liked would be a turn on, you know, I, and it would show you that I'm not just some geeky guy, that I'm man enough to get, you know, tattoos and not just some some ogre. <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, like, busting out the tattoos is probably more of a second or third date move. <laughs> but... No, I actually, I don't ever want to see those tattoos again. <laughs> oh, Maya. Uh, but Maya, you said that you really liked him at one point. I mean, it's only the tattoos that turn you off. It was a weird thing, you guys. You weren't there. Like, <laughs> the date was cool, and I liked him, but, 
like long term down the road, there's no way I could date a guy with these kind of tattoos for the rest of my life. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'm going to spend my evening researching erase regrettable ruined stuff? <laughs> you know, my I don't really meet people like you, especially on Xbox Live, and so. <laughs> I mean, if I got rid of the Gollum one, would that be, you know? Are you actually thinking of... Would that make a difference to you, or, or you know... Whoa. I mean, I no really, like, we only went out one time, and I don't think you should change who you are <laughs> for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I appreciate the thought, but, like, I mean, I'm I'm sure you're going to find the girl who loves Oh, man. All right. I know what that means. All right. Are you sure, Maya? Hey, Maya, we'll pay for a second date if you go out with him again. We won't pay for the tattoo removal, though. <laughs> I mean, I think we could probably be great friends. I mean, we really did have a great oh, time. God. And, like, I hang out again. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Well, oh, Oscar. hey, Oscars. <laughs> Not a successful second date for you, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'm going to just pick up my staff and go home. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning. The text in at 78592 said, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I would totally date that guy. <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning talking about today's second date update. If you missed it, this dude Oscar wanted to call this girl named Maya, and they met while playing Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. But things got weird when they met up for the first date because Oscar took off his shirt to show her his nerdy tattoos. Mm -hmm. He's got a Game of Thrones tattoo, some Lord of the Rings tattoos. But the one that sealed the deal for him was a tattoo of the entire cast of Harry Potter Whoa. on his whole back. The main event. Yeah. The <laughs> and that was just too much for Maya. That's why she wasn't calling him back. And she also said she wasn't interested in dating him anymore. Yeah. Oh. Shocking. It's weird. You'd think that a Harry Potter tattoo would be... I mean it would be like exactly what you'd want. That's in the first. extreme. Well, I, yeah. I don't know. Most Harry Potter fans would still shy away from that guy. It's better than a portrait of his ex. That's, That's true. I mean, there's worse tattoos. That's there are the worse tattoos. <laughs> but that one made him not get a second date. Remember, if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person.